Hey everybody, I am back. Gonna be wrapping up the first Marvel Ultimate Alliance uh, game this week. Uh, then next Saturday, I will go through Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. That's probably gonna be a couple of videos in of itself. Uh, then might as well go ahead and after that point, wrap up with Ultimate Alliance 3. Then I will circle into going through the Gears of War uh, uh, cutscenes. So that'll be the plan. Um, so uh, don't forget to smash that like button, uh, uh, give us a follow, and let's uh, get back to Ultimate Alliance. Prisoners, talk to Lady Sif. To find out about the Bifrost Bridge, talk to Hermod. If you're ready to start now, Take the path to Asgard, or the portal to Bifrost. I'm Democrat Sean Caston, and I'm proud to be endorsed by... My friends, these are indeed dark times. The masters of evil have overwhelmed the army of Asgard, and the only path for reinforcements has been closed off to us, the Bifrost Bridge. Isn't that how your people travel back and forth between Earth and Asgard? Aye. A great many warriors would return, if only the path were open. How did Doom manage to block off Bifrost? The gate at the end closest to Earth has been closed and barred. It can only be opened from our side. But I would warn you, the Wrecking Crew is guarding the gate. The Wrecking Crew? <laughs> Ooh, pardon me for not being scared. I gotta agree with Webhead here. How bad can these Jokers be? The Wrecking Crew is not to be taken lightly. They are humans who were mistakenly granted the powers of one of my people. More than once, they have sorely tested my powers. They almost beat you? Then we'd better be on our guard. They are formidable opponents, but that is not all. Loki has struck a bargain with Hela, the goddess of death. Her minions will also seek to stop us. So we're fighting gods and the undead? Right. Anyone else nervous about our odds here? We must succeed. Without those additional forces, there is little hope for Asgard. Not to worry, Thor. We'll get those gates open. I thank you, my friends. Let us battle on to victory. Good. Make your way across as quickly as possible and open the Bifrost Gate. But watch yourselves. The Wrecking Crew aren't going to be pushovers. Good job. Now reinforcements will be able to join us from Earth. Return to Valhalla immediately. Good job, team. The gates of Bifrost are open now, and the path to Earth is clear. Your next mission involves freeing the gods in Asgard. For more information, talk to Lady Sif. Or, if you want to go now, use the path to Asgard. And you should be happy to know that having finished the Bifrost mission, you're allowed into the Hall of the Honored Fallen. <laughs> it was more wondrous than my wildest of dreams. How I wish I could forever relive the fall of Asgard. It was so amusing to watch the oafish knaves as they fought in defense of their beloved city. But one by one, they realized that all was lost. Heimdall, Tyr, and even the mighty Balder have tasted the bitter dregs of defeat. Now I, Loki, am the true lord and master of Asgard. And all those who have dared to mock me are in chains, beaten, 
and hopeless. Need I remind you, Loki, that your brother Thor still remains free? Your fascination with the God of Thunder grows tiresome, Enchantress. But has he not proven himself your better time and time again? Careful. That beauteous face will gain you only so much of my mercy. But she does bring a valid point to light. Thor will likely attempt to liberate the fallen warriors. Think you that I would not be prepared? Traps a plenty wait for those who would dare to free my prisoners. Traps that even they cannot overcome? You underestimate me, Doom. After all, am I not the god of mischief? My brother and his friends will most assuredly enter Asgard. But trust me when I say they will never leave. Surprise. You were good enough to eat. Enough of your feminine wiles. I know of your spells. Now release Baldur immediately, or suffer my wrath. No one speaks to Enchantress like that. Well, you will be silent, like that. God of Thunder, or I will silence you. Why, Executioner, is there a note of jealousy in your voice? No, my lady. Only concern. Good. For I will keep company with whomever I choose. Is that true? Yes, my lady. A thousand apologies to you. Enough of this. Tell me why Doctor Doom wages war in Asgard. One of your precious team knows. Or at least suspects. Impossible. How could one of us know Doctor Doom's plan? It is a very interesting story. Tell him nothing, my lady. We've wasted enough time. Let me destroy Thor. I have a better idea, my pet. Let us both destroy him. defeated the Enchantress and the Executioner. I would have not thought it possible. I can still stand, so I am well enough to begin the fight anew. Let Loki beware, for he has now truly earned my wrath. It will not be an easy fight for sure, but I will rally the gods, and we will unshackle the beloved city of Asgard. I thank you again, humans. All of Asgard is in your debt. Now, Onward to battle! Now that the Bifrost Bridge is open and the gods have been freed in Asgard, we can turn our attention to locating Odin. The last we heard, Odin was heading toward Niflheim to battle the Frost Giants. I doubt he's in trouble. But just to be sure, your next mission is to go to Niflheim to see if Odin needs help. For more information on helping Odin, talk to Lady Sif. If you want to leave right now, Take the well to Niflheim. The final phase of our plan is about to commence. The attack on the Omega base, the kidnapping of the X-Men, and our dealings with Mephisto have all led up to this moment. I would remind you that failure is not an option. You worry too much, my good doctor. We are more than prepared to achieve our ultimate goal. And you worry too little. How often have we all had victory firmly in our grasp, only to have it snatched away by the heroes? You do realize, Baron Mordo, that the price of failure will be the wrath of Odin. Are you prepared for that? No. No, I don't suppose I am. None of us are. It would be a fate worse than death. 
And that is why we must be absolutely certain we are willing to do what must be done for success. Fear not, Dr. Doom. I am prepared for whatever challenges we meet. As am I. Just knowing the rewards that await makes it all worthwhile. Of that, you have no fear, Ultron. Everyone will get what's coming to them. So you've returned, eh? Well, I've nothing left to steal. So leave me in peace. He did pass through here on his way to battle. I don't know who he fought, but the very ground shook from the force of the blows. It has recently grown silent, and I fear all is not well for Odin. I am Vola, prophetess of Asgard. I believe you when you say you do not have my ring. But should you find it, I would gladly tell your fortune. This does not bode well at all. The sword must have been used on Odin. And if that happened... You must move with all haste. Locate Odin. He is no doubt now the prisoner of Loki and Doctor Doom. I could not even hazard a guess. But do not tarry. Odin's life is most likely in danger. For creatures, for no one can match the might of Ymir, the king of the frost giants. That petty tyrant has been defeated and is now in the control of Doctor Doom. Ah, oh, what a battle that was! The look upon Odin's face will long be a treasured memory. To the top of Raven's Spire, there, Loki will seek out the Invincible Destroyer armor. Then, he will rule Asgard. What a glorious day this is for my people. It is for you. Little ones, it is for you. Your friends cannot help you now. Looks like you lose. Not 
I claim this victory for Asgard. This, this is an outrage. The Loki battle How dare so Loki and Doom leave us behind? I'll not stand for it. This, this is, is not an unforeseen outcome. They now each get what they desire without having to share the spoils with us. We'll just see about that. All we have to do is guess which spear is truly Odin's. That will open the barrier. Can you use your power of mind control to get the elf to choose for us? It is all too simple for the master of magic. Go, elf. Choose a spear for your master, Baron Mordo. An unfortunate outcome. How did you get here? You shouldn't have been able to cross the bridge. Evidence suggests differently. Let us battle them. Battle. What an unexpected surprise. But don't you know, it's not safe up here on Raven's Peak. At least not for the likes of you. Sorry, but I'm not exactly sure what's happened to Daddy Dearest. You see, Dr. Doom has him. I seek to take control of the Destroyer armor, but I require four God Swords to free it from its prison of ice. It is a magical shell created by Odin. The wearer's consciousness is pulled inside, leaving their body outside in a frozen state. The destroyer armor is so powerful that even the mighty Thor cannot defeat it. I invite you to do your best, but know this. I will possess the destroyer armor. for doing what I could never have accomplished alone. You should know by now that deception is my greatest weapon. You never teleported back to Valhalla. You're in a land of my baby. Yes, and now I will take possession of the destroyer armor and crush the life from you.
Am I dead? Why does heaven smell like a wet dog? Oh wait, never mind. I am Uwatu, the Watcher. I prevented your deaths, for you are needed to save this universe. Listen closely, mortals. Doctor Doom's unrestrained use of Odin's power will... ¡Come on! ¡Vamos! Hola, padres. ¿Quieres que tus chiquis se mantengan conectados a su cultura? Con do... Soon tear the fabric of reality beyond repair. I have broken my sacred vow to only observe, so that I may give you this one chance to save your world. Who can stand against the power of Odin? Even the gods of mighty Asgard have fallen. Doom's power seems unlimited, but you must know a way to stop him. Yes, there is a chance, but it will be difficult. First, you must obtain the Makran Crystal, a Shi'ar gem of fantastic power. Next, you must acquire another object of great power, and it will take all your strength and skill. You must face the World Eater known as Galactus. Greetings. I am Watu. Why'd your voice the Watcher, change? And this is Atalan, the moon based home of the Inhumans. He believes he has, but I saved you at the last possible moment. Though I have vowed to never interfere with earthly affairs, the danger is too great for me to stand idly by. Doctor Doom's misuse of Odin's power is tearing the fabric of reality. And you are the only ones who can defeat him. You must steal Odin's powers away from him. And to do that, you must acquire two items from the vast reaches of outer space. The first item needed is a shard of the Makran Crystal, located in the Shi'ar Empire. For more information on this mission, talk to the one called Black Widow. Should you wish to leave immediately, talk to the creature known as Lockjaw. You'll be traveling to the Shi'ar Empire for this next mission. It's located in a galaxy in another part of the universe. Once there, you'll need to lay hands on a shard of the Makran Crystal. Will the Shi'ar be willing to part with it? The Crystal is very important to the Shi'ar, but we're good friends with their ruler, Lilandra. I don't think she'll mind giving it to us. Especially when she learns how important it is in stopping Doctor Doom. You X-Men are pretty well connected. You've even got buddies in other galaxies. Xavier's the one who's close to Lilandra. They used to be good friends. Really good friends, if you catch my meaning. Ooh, guess that means Lilandra's not gonna be some wrinkled old prune of a queen. You can say that again, bub. What is the Shi'ar Empire? It's an ancient kingdom that spans entire galaxies and consists of thousands of different civilizations. Are they peaceful? They have had their periods of upheaval, usually due to struggles within the royal family. But for the most part, yes. What exactly is this Macran crystal? It houses a gateway into a universe filled with neutron stars. The power available there is beyond measure. I can see how that would be useful in defeating Dr. Doom. All right then, get to Shi'ar and locate Lalandra as fast as you can. Once you've convinced her to give you the crystal, get back here pronto. Good luck. Surrender immediately! Well, well, well. What brings my fellow man to this distant Have galaxy? Don't you know? There's been a coup. Deathbird has taken the throne from her sister, Lalandra. Then you should easy. be very motivated to see Lalandra back on the throne, because Deathbird certainly won't give you anything other than life in prison. Hold on! Re 
Remember, the only way to activate a force field is to find the console that operates it. Lalandra's a good friend of mine, and when a friend's in need, I make it a practice to lend a hand. Because heaven knows, there's been times when I needed help. Now come on, I can see you kids are gonna need a little help, so I'll travel a ways with you. Our first order of business is to get across this fighter bay in one piece. Okay, who's next? Leave now, and I will not harm you. I am honor-bound to serve the Empress of Shi'ar, and that is Empress Death. She has given me orders to destroy all invaders. Though it pains me, Lilandra is no longer on the throne. I take commands only from Empress Death. Now please, go, or I shall be forced to use violence. Very well, then. You leave me no choice. Gladiators is insanely powerful in the market. They were powerful enough to take on the juggernaut. That's how it seems powerful. the reports of humans on board ship are true. I would not have believed them capable of getting this far. Nor I, Hussar. Humans are such inferior creatures. We are Imperial Guards, loyal to Empress Deathbird. Yes. Without the help of the Imperial Guard, she would never have gained power. No. Most of them were fools who wouldn't listen to reason. Luckily, Guardian is loyal to the throne rather than to a person. But we could have dealt with even the mighty Guardian, just as we're going to deal with you now. Flee! She will be placed on trial for crimes against the Empire, and then executed. Indeed I do, humans. I've spent months planning my rise to power, and I'm not about to lose now. So with the aid of the Macran Crystal, I will destroy you. The last vestiges of defiance to my absolute authority! by the Macran Crystal! Give it up, Deathbird. You've lost. Tell us where Lalandra is. You impudent worm. How dare you even speak to me? I am the Empress of Shi'ar! The throne isn't yours. It belongs to Lalandra. Never! If I am to be denied the throne, then I will make certain my sister will never rule again by destroying this entire ship. Team, we have to catch up with Deathbird. 
She must be going to set off some kind of self-destruct mechanism. No. Humans, what are you doing here? Forget about me, there's no time. You have to save the ship. My life is not important. There are thousands of others who need you to stop the self-destruct mechanism. You and your friends are as pitiful as ever, Wolverine. The self-destruct timer is about to detonate. Did you take one too many shots to the head when we fought? You've lost Deathbird. Killing everyone on this ship ain't gonna gain you a thing. I'd have thought you, of all people, would understand my motives. All I want is vengeance. Now to smash this console, so there's no way for you to shut it off. Have you gone, Loco? You're gonna die with us. Always the fool, aren't you, Wolverine? You should know by now I always have an escape plan. Well, ain't that something. Guess we're gonna have to smash all these laser emitters if we're gonna shut down this self-destruct system. the first item needed to defeat Dr. Doom. Lockjaw will now create a portal that you may use any time to return to our base on Atalan. You did well. Obtaining the Macran Crystal under those conditions was quite impressive. Yes, but there is still one item you must obtain. The Muonic Inducer. It is the device Galactus uses to assimilate the energy of a planet when he devours it. He is about to attack a planet populated by the Skrull, a race who has long sought to conquer the Earth. If you wish to leave now, see the dog Lockjaw. Or, should you desire additional information, talk to the Black Widow. You're about to be sent to the homeworld of the Skrull. There you need to steal a device called the Muonic Inducer from Galactus, who is presently attacking the Skrull planet. Why is Galactus at war with the Skrull? He's not. Galactus is there to consume the planet. Whoa! This dude eats planets? I gotta get a picture of that. He doesn't really eat them. He has machines that convert the planet into energy he can absorb. One of those devices is the Muonic Inducer. I wouldn't think old Galactus is going to be too happy with us trying to steal one of his toys. No, he won't be. Which is why I'd strongly advise against any confrontation with him. Galactus is one of the most powerful beings we've ever encountered. That would explain why he feeds off entire planets. But how does he choose which worlds to consume? He has a herald for that. A scout who determines which planet's next on the menu. Well, at least we can count on the Skrull to help us out. Not necessarily. The Skrull are a warlike people who've attacked the Earth several times before. They'll most likely see you as enemies. Wonderful. So if Mr. Universe doesn't completely crush us, the Skrull will be happy to finish the job. Yes. Is that a problem? No. Just wanted to make sure what the teams are. Well, good. Now get moving. Team, you now stand on the Skrull homeworld. They are an alien culture who've tried to enslave humanity several times. They'll attack you, but remember, your primary goal is to locate Galactus so you can take his muonic inducer.
Team, it appears you're near a set of magnetic shield generators that Galactus uses. These devices convert the planet's magnetic field into a shield he uses to protect himself. On the off chance you'll have to face Galactus, it'd be in your best interest to take down these generators. What are you doing it's here, Bascara? Are you the ones who brought Galactus down upon our world? Why they are here doesn't matter. Let's destroy them anyway. Agreed, Pybok. They will be forever the enemy. Stay your hand, my brave warriors. We may have use for these creatures. Humans, I propose a bargain. If you are truly bargain. here to battle Galactus, then you will require knowledge that I alone possess. Knowledge of a weakness of the Planet Eater. In return for this knowledge, all I ask is that you open the main hangar door so that my ship can escape the destruction of this planet. Trust me, humans. Your lives depend on it. still live. You humans are more resourceful than I'd thought. Fools! You should already know that Galactus has no weakness. With the thousands of civilizations he's faced, do you think he'd still be alive today if he was not invincible? Yes. And I'm also going to have you destroyed. Super Scroll, Pybok, attack! The Empress is wise and just. We are honor-bound to obey her. Yes. And now we have the privilege of carrying out her order to kill the humans.
friends. Colonel Fury sent me to aid you in battling my old master. But first, allow me to use the power cosmic to heal you. True, he is mighty. But if we work together, we can slow him down. Three of his machines are nearby. If you reconfigure them to malfunction, it should cause a feedback loop that will render Galactus unconscious. The inducer is what powers the three machines, but you won't be able to get to it until Galactus is out of the way. survive an encounter with Galactus. But you must return to Earth now. Doom has grown quite adept with his newfound powers, and he has shown little restraint in their use. Soon, he will begin to damage the very fabric of the universe. Once you are done here in Atalan, see Lockjaw. He will send you to Earth. Much has transpired since you were last on Earth. Mankind did its best to defend itself against doom. But even their greatest weapons were as nothing before doom's power. The heroes of your world also tried to stop doom and paid the ultimate price.
And with this discovery, Doom began corrupting your entire world. As you can see, Doom's powers are far-reaching. He's remade Stark Tower into his twisted vision of perfection. But that's not all. He's changed New York, as well as every other major city on Earth. Before we can do anything else, we need to get our headquarters up and running again. Go to the power junctions and activate them. There, we're back in business. What the blazes? Doom must know we're here. <sighs> <I'm in Doom laughs> it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Target acquired. Return to Castle Doom. It's gonna take a lot more than a couple of cheap toys to take me down. Well, if Doom didn't know we were here before, he sure does now. And that's fine, because we're as ready as we're gonna be. Dr. Pym has managed to power the muonic inducer with the McCran crystal, but be warned. You'll have to actually touch Doom to steal some of his power, and it may take several tries to work. You will too, once you steal his powers. I'd suggest you get to Latveria as soon as possible. You'll find Doom in his castle there. For more information on the mission parameters, talk to Black Widow. And when you're ready to go, let me know. I'll fly you there. We're going to be arriving at Doom's castle soon. Once there, you'll have to locate Doom and use the McCran crystal to steal his power. You can bet your boots Doom ain't gonna let that go without a scrap. Uh, make no mistake. You're in for the fight of your lives, but it has to be done. As predicted, tears are developing in near-Earth space because of Doom's unbridled use of power. Pretty soon even Doom won't be able to stop it. What will happen if the tears are left unchecked? The universe will unravel in a matter of months. All life will cease to exist everywhere. Gone forever. Wow, not to criticize, but this mission briefing is turning into a real down. I don't know any other way to put it. Trillions of lives are depending on you to defeat Dr. Doom. Look, I know we've had our differences over the course of this little adventure, and I know you don't agree with the way I've done some things. But as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., I can't ever afford to lose. And now you're in the same boat. You have to win this one. Not to worry, Colonel. I am prepared. Wolverine and I are certainly ready for anything. You got that right. Yeah, I've always wanted to fight someone with the powers of a god. Don't worry, Colonel. We know what's riding on this. We won't fail. I know you won't. Good luck. And watch yourselves. Greetings, my old friends. You're looking quite well for being dead. But then, I suppose I have Uazo to thank for that little pillow. I know a great many things. And once I am finished here on Earth, I shall turn my attention to the stars. Then, all the Watchers will learn to respect the might of Doom. Do you see how easily I can control the very elements themselves? Finally, I have achieved the ultimate power. Why would I destroy the last people who can appreciate my work? I want you to roam around and see what I've changed. All the people they could have chose to play Dr. Dan and the Cobra are the so good to me. You're the real Colossus, aren't you? But Doom managed to turn you evil. 
Doctor Doom merely showed me that he is the ultimate power in this universe. And now I have the privilege of being his protector. Some privilege? And you're not the real Captain America, are you? You're just some dark clone of his. I am the final proof that Doctor Doom rules with absolute power. He was able to create me as an exact duplicate of Captain America. You're not an exact duplicate. Cap has way more class than you'll ever have support. I can understand your anger, Tony. But soon you will feel like I do, and join Doom's forces. Don't you dare call me by my first name. You're not Captain America, and I'll die before I turn into one of Doom's flunkies. I too had thought so. Until I faced Doctor Doom and lost. Now look at me. Soon, we will stand side by side as protectors of our Lord Doom. That's not gonna happen. Not in a million years. <laughs> you long enough to get here. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever make it. Don't be too hard on them, Psylocke. They aren't one of Lord Doom's chosen. Yet. Our minds aren't twisted. We now realize that Lord Doom is the ultimate power in this galaxy. And in serving him, we are granted abilities far beyond anything we had previously known. If you really think that's so, then follow me. And you'll see what Lord Doom is capable of. Go ahead. Follow Cyclops if you want. Or stay here and face me. Either way, you're going to have to fight us both sometime. somewhere near you. At this point, anything is worth a try. Keep your eyes open for it. You're me, your fiendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I prefer to think of us as the next generation, bigger and badder. Nay thee, I say. Doom has decreed that my father must remain in prison, so there he must stay. Of course, you're welcome to try and take the hammer from him. I dare you. Come on, you know you want to. I'm not. <laughs> Of bravery, you have the appreciation of all of Asgard. 
Return to us now in Asgard, Odin. Here you will rest, that you might one day regain your powers. allegiance to him. We're like to the mold of will pounce you until you do like pose and throw up on your face. Never uh especially the gun is uh oh. to blame. I made the mistake of creating them as feeble and weak-minded as the originals. Ah. No petty fears are of no concern to me. I control the might of a powerful god has Silence! I have heard enough of your prattle. Now, I will obliterate you once and for all. Took a while. Look at how to, you know, defeat them. So you managed to steal a portion of my powers, then? Eh? An interesting ploy, but it matters not. You haven't had the experience I've had in wielding the power of Odin. And now, with the aid of my minions, I'll show you how a real god spikes it. Nothing. Doom. Hogan. 
You can't be free! Your wretched scheme is undone, and your black soul is mine! No! An eternity of suffering is the fate of those who challenge the gods! You gotta thank your old man for me, Thor. Odin did one hell of a job reversing the damage Doom did to Earth. Aye, but I believe he is presently occupied with Doom and my brother Loki. Let's hope he's teaching them new kinds of pain. The world owes you a debt of gratitude it can never repay. But, with the danger past, our task force must be disbanded. You're a punk, Fury. Listen, fellas. I don't care if you like me, but if a threat like this comes again, can S.H.I.E.L.D. count on your help? The world can count on us, sir. Such insignificant creatures. They dare steal from Galactus. For that, I will destroy their planet. All is well, but the tale is not yet complete. While pursuing Doctor Doom, your actions have had ramifications you could not possibly imagine. Allow me to show you the future you helped to create. It is regrettable you did not save the Omega Base computer. It contained research data on the Legacy Virus, a disease that is deadly to mutants. In several years, the virus will become a plague that runs rampant across the Earth. Because you chose not to act, you may have doomed the mutant race to extinction. You showed true courage in locating the ingredients needed to heal Namor in Atlantis. Because of this, Namor will grow to trust surface dwellers. And in time, he will aid in the formation of a worldwide organization of superheroes. This group will save the Earth from many dangers that would have otherwise destroyed it. It was quite valiant of you to rescue Senator Kelly, a known detractor of mutants. Because of your kindness, the Senator will successfully sponsor the Mutant Aid Bill. This will allocate government funds for schools like Professor Xavier's. These schools will prove to be very effective in training young mutants in how to control their powers. It was most unfortunate that you were unable to rescue Jean Grey in Mephisto's realm. For she does not die in the Infinity Vortex. Instead, she returns to Earth in the form of the Dark Phoenix, to take vengeance upon those who did not save her. There's always like a Phoenix thing with her. There will be a great loss because you neglected to locate the Sword of the Valkyrie. Without the aid of her magical sword, Valkyrie falls in the battle to free Asgard. Balder then dies attempting to save her. Because of this, Asgard refuses contact with Earth for over a century. Had you located 
dedicated Vola's ring, it would have spared much bloodshed. In years to come, the angry prophetess will not warn Odin of an attempt on his life. His death will plunge Asgard into years of chaos. Eventually, Thor will become king, but only after Lady Sif dies in battle. Your failure to save Princess Lilandra was most unfortunate. When an asteroid threatens Earth, a call goes out to the Shi'ar to destroy it. But they ignore that plea. Though Earth's heroes valiantly attempt to stop it, they fail, and the western coast of the United States is obliterated. It is regrettable that you did not save the Skrull planet from destruction. The loss of the base will destabilize that entire sector of space. This, in turn, will lead to an outbreak of war between the Kree and Skrull that will last decades and cost millions of lives. It was most wise of you to save Odin from his confinement in Castle Doom. In the near future, the mighty Thanos will seek to conquer Earth. Only intervention by Thor's father will save the human race from enslavement. You are to be congratulated for locating the damaged Ultimate Nullifier at Castle Doom. One day soon, Mephisto will seek to conquer our dimension, but Reed Richards will repair the Ultimate Nullifier and use it to stop the vile creature before all is lost. Although this timeline was created by you, no, that it can be altered. Okay, that is it for this. Next Saturday, I'll get into Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 and all those cutscenes. Uh, but this is pretty much like a this epilogue, like a what if type of stories given the Owatu situation. Uh, you're gonna do uh, all good stuff, like the whole scroll Cree War thing. That was gonna happen, whatever, because we're not, uh, uh, or, or whatnot, I should say. But in any case, that you know, that was fun getting through all that stuff. You know, unlike Destiny Two, uh, that was more so of a breeze. So. Uh, uh, in an hour or so, well, I want to say in an hour or so, um, well, yeah, yeah, later on tonight, I'll be getting back to playing some more Black Myth Wukong for a bit, uh, but, uh, yeah, then I'm going to take a break Sunday, I'll probably be back Monday, uh, with more, um, gameplays of, or, of something, I don't know which one yet. But in any case, thank you for stopping by. Leave a like. Let me know what you guys think. Which uh, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance game was your favorite? And I'll see you all soon. Peace.